welcome students welcome to my lecture deflection of a falling mass coriolis effect as i told you the motion is confined in a plane of r and theta as we know the two coordinates which can change are r so if i want to find the velocity i should find the time derivative of each coordinate that is r dot and theta dot so the velocity of the particle in vector form is given by v rot is equal to r dot into r cap that means the component of velocity along the r direction plus the component of velocity along the theta direction r theta dot now as we can we know the value of r v rot omega cross v rot will be just multiply omega with this expression so omega cross r dot will be omega r dot but if i take the cross product of omega and r cap omega cap and r cap i will get theta cap the second term multiply omega with the second term omega cross r theta dot theta cap omega cross theta cap will be minus r cap so that again multiplying with r theta dot and omega so i get r omega theta dot since omega cap into theta cap is minus r cap i got minus r omega theta dot r cap and consider omega cross omega cross r as i know omega cross r is as a omega r and if i again multiply with omega omega r into theta uh, theta cap and omega cross theta cap minus r cap so om multiply omega with omega cross r will get omega square r since it is a vector and this got the, this is in the direction of theta cap and this is the direction of omega cap so omega cap cross theta cap will be minus r cap so i got minus omega square r into r cap now if you substitute the values of these two that is omega cross v rot and omega cross omega cross r in the expression for f r and f theta so the first term as it is uh, uh, it is already a minus mg so there is no change in the first term now you put the value of the second term the second term is uh, 2m v r cross v that is uh, uh, omega cross v so that will become 2m omega cross will be 2m the first term omega r dot theta cap since it is not in the direction of this is the component along the theta direction i should not use this term i want to use only this term because the second term is only in the direction of r so already there is a minus in the fr so that minus and this minus will become plus so plus 2m r omega theta dot r omega theta dot that is r cap since it is uh, already i am taking only the direction components in the uh, radial direction i don't want to use this uh, unit vector r cap and uh, the third term m omega cross omega cross r as i found the omega cross omega cross r is minus omega square r into r cap already a minus was there and that minus and this minus will become plus plus m omega square r so since already this is uh, this unit vector r cap corresponds to the direction of radius so i don't want to put the unit vector again here because already i am taking the radial radial component of the force similarly the component of force along the theta direction is uh, minus 2m r dot omega because this is the only component which is along the direction of uh, theta so i use omega r dot that is omega r dot that into 2m because the minus sign was there in the term so i got the expression these two expression fr and f theta from these two only we are going to uh, come uh, going to the derivations the next part of the derivation so 
the four after getting the force along the radial and the angular directions we come to the equation of motion as we know the by newton's law f is equal to m r double dot so i use that equation the radial equation of motion so if we equate this in is equal to mass into acceleration but here you can see there are two types of acceleration one is a radial acceleration the other is the angular acceleration so the first term m r double dot refers to the radial acceleration minus m r theta dot square refers to the angular acceleration that will be equal to the found value the component of force along the radial direction that is minus mg plus 2 omega 2 m omega 2 m omega theta dot r plus omega m omega square r now if i see this equation theta dot is very very smaller than omega see because omega is the angular velocity of the earth that is very very large value compared to the angular velocity of the particle so i can neglect the term 2m omega theta dot r in compared to the m omega square because omega itself is a very large value if i take omega square it will become very very large value so i can neglect the second term and the term uh, omitted r m r theta dot square this term is also neglected because the theta dot is coming here theta dot is very small theta dot square will be very very smaller than that and this term the second term in the left hand side and the second term on the right hand side are neglected and then the equation will become in the next slide m r double dot this is neglected equal to minus mg plus m omega square r slide and if i remove m from both sides r double dot is equal to minus g plus omega square r then the equation in the terms of theta m r theta double dot plus 2 m r dot theta dot equal to minus 2 m r dot omega this was the term which we got from the previous slide again i use the same approximation theta dot is very very smaller compared to omega therefore i can neglect the second term and that will become m r theta double dot equal to minus 2 m r dot omega if i remove m from both sides r theta double dot is equal to minus 2 r dot omega so if the body falls uh, from a point height uh, towards the earth we can say the small r which is the distance from the particle or the body towards the, to the center of the earth that changes from capital r e refers to the radius of the earth plus h that is the height of the particle or the body from the surface of the earth to r e that means at the surface the small r will become capital r e where r e is the radius of the earth so if i consider g as to be constant and uh, if i say r is approximately equal to r e then the equation 1 becomes so i am putting these two expressions in this so that means g is constant r is approximately equal to r e then the equation 1 becomes in the second slide i should instead of small r i put r e g is constant i got r double dot that is the radial acceleration is equal to minus g plus omega square r e that can be written as apparent acceleration minus g so the in the radial direction the net acceleration or the apparent acceleration observed by an observer in the rotating frame is g dash is equal to g minus omega capital omega square r e where omega is the angular velocity of the earth so the net the acceleration due to the gravity minus the acceleration due to the centrifugal force is the apparent acceleration due to gravity observed by an observer in the earth and if i again if i integrate this expression that is r double dot is nothing but second derivative of r with respect to t that is d square r by dt square so if i differentiate integrate it i will get r dot that is dr by dt so dr by dt is equal to minus gt that means again if i integrate it i will get 
uh, if I integrate t, it will become t square by 2. So, r will become r0 minus half t t square. So the same procedure if I do for the for the angular direction, r theta double dot is equal to 2 g t omega was the equation we got. And from here, I got theta double dot is equal to 2 g omega by r because small r is equal to capital R e that is into t. Now, let us analyze these two equations. This is the theta double dot equation and r equation. So, from the last slide, I got the theta double dot and if I integrate it again, the t was there in the right hand side. If I integrate t, I will get t square by 2. So, the t square by 2, the 2 and 2 cancels out. I will got theta dot is equal to g omega by r e into t square. If I integrate again, theta dot will become theta because theta dot is d theta by dt and uh, if I integrate d theta by dt, I will get theta. That is, if I integrate t square, I will get t cube by 3. So, 1 by 3 g omega by r e into t cube. In the previous slide, we obtained the expression r minus uh, r, r0. For example, r0 is some, some, num, some value. That was an expression in, that was some value is uh, some that was proportional to theta. So, y is approximately equal to r e theta. That means small r was there. If I put r equal to r e approximately that into theta. Now, substitute the value of theta into this equation. So, that means y becomes from here. You can see here y is equal to y is equal to 1 by 3, this 1 by 3, g omega by, by r e, this r e and this r e cancel out t cube. And r minus r 0 is minus h, that was, uh, that was the, the small r 0 is corresponds to the radius of the earth in this case. And that was equal to half g t square for the case of a motion of a body falling in an one dimensional from the equations of motion. That means, as we know, s is equal to ut plus half at square for a body dropped from a height, uh, u is equal to 0. So, that means s is equal to half gt square. As I hear, a is equal to minus g. Now, from here, I got capital T is equal to root of 2h by g. Now, if I put the value of time, which is got from here, this time is put in this equation you will get y is equal to t is root of 2 g 2 h by g. So, t cube will be 2 h by g the whole raised to 3 by 2. 1 by 3 g omega. So, 1 by 3 g omega 2 h by g the whole raised to 3 by 2 is the expression for the deflection in the deflection of a body due to Coriolis force. For illustration, I am giving for example, if uh, height of the tower h is 50 meter, I will get y is equal to 0 0.77 centimeters. It is a very small, less than 1 centimeter. That is why the effect is not felt uh, very much. So, even though the effect is there, the, we, are not, we are not able to feel because it is a very sensitive and very microscopic changes. And the deflecting is uh, towards the east. So, the expression, the final result is 1 by 3 g omega 2 h by so on the the Coriolis force depends the Coriolis deflection y depends on the height by which uh, through which the body falls if the body falls from very very uh, large height which h is very very large you will get a variable deflection or a considerable deflection or y value uh, correspondingly you can measure it so with this uh, the ends and thank you